Can we get rid of fibromyalgia? I doubt it. So it's probably something that's a diagnosis that right now we don't have a cure. Is there something new in the future? You think it's a possibility changing some of the genomes that we have, you know, altering our body's They're makeup? They're actually looking at studies like that. So I think, you know, if you have more targeted therapy down the road, right now we don't. I mean, the other medicines that we haven't mentioned are Lyrica, Gabapentin. Uh, we're not exactly sure why those work, uh, but there's a subgroup of patients that those work extremely well in. So, so I look on television, it says Lyrica calms down some of those hyperactive. Mm -hmm. So which is which you like best, gabapentin, Lyrica? Or everybody's different. Everybody's different. So We always start with gabapentin because that's what insurance pays for. Uh, and that, you have to fail gabapentin to get to Lyrica. Okay, so you have to try. What are the side effects of gabapentin? Um, if people don't tolerate it, it tends to be fatigue the next day. In older patients, it can be forgetfulness. I don't see that as much in the young. Uh, swelling in the ankles, um, so, so grogginess. Grogginess. Yeah. The swelling is, is one of the big issues. Do 50% fail or what percent fail gabapentin or you get good results with encouragement and guidance? Well, they're usually on a cocktail. <laughs> so, I mean, they may be on Cymbalta and gabapentin and they may be using Flexerol for sleep. Or we may change it up and switch over to Lyrica or we may switch to Savella. Even though the drugs work in a similar fashion, patients respond very differently to them. And so you change one at a time and, and you see what works. I also have patients that love acupuncture. The acupuncture can be uh, useful also. Mm -hmm. So we've got gabapentin, we've got Lyrica, we've got acupuncture, we've got Flexorel. So we've got, you've got a lot of armamentarian of medicines that you, what do you see bottom line with these patients? A lot of them. Uh, get better? What do you see? Tell me. Well, people don't really get better per se. They get functional. Uh -huh. They have less pain uh, and they learn to tolerate it better. And I think when they rest better, it's much less noticeable to them. So from your standpoint as a physician, how gratifying is it to see somebody that's very incapacitated and you allow them to be reasonably are very functional. That must be gratifying. It is, and, we, and I do have some patients like that that have come in and basically they have spent 20 hours in bed. Again, that's the extreme, but um, actually I saw one of them today. Uh, but now she gets up and she does her daily activities. She has some complaints, but she's still 80% better than she was when she first came in.